Hey guys, it's Daisuke. Um, I literally just finished recording the Explorers of Time and Darkness Explorers Guides uh, video and figured, well, since I have the time and I'm home alone, might as well get another video recorded. Um, so this video specifically is to talk about the Pokemon Pocket Trainers Guide and my experience with it, but I wanted to also show off Rescuer's Guide, because I know I didn't show it off very well in the last video. Uh, it's really, really simple. There's nothing too amazing about it. But it was just a cool pre-order bonus that I personally never had the chance to uh, receive. Because <clears throat> when this was given out, uh, was for Blue and Red Rescue Team. And I... <laughs> I did not get the games until <clears throat> the DS Lite had come out, and it was that Christmas that I got a DS Lite as well as Blue Rescue Team, which I promptly played the crap out of, and among other things, I ended up giving it away, which was not my best idea. but. Because I got it as a gift, it was never pre-ordered for me, so I never got a chance to see this. And I didn't even know this existed until, like, last week. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I must have it, because I love Blue Rescue Team. But this video is not specifically about Blue Rescue Team. <clears throat> it's about the Pocket Trainer's Guide. Um, please excuse, like, the huge stains like that. Um, I will address that in a bit, but essentially this is the random bullcrap that if you ever buy, like, a player's guide or something for Pokemon, this was pretty much the information that was at the very beginning that nobody ever looks through. And it talks about types and shit. But, these were given out, I want to say everywhere, because, well... I found mine at a place called uh, called Circuit City, <clears throat> which was a big electronics retailer at the time. Um, they went bankrupt and had to close down all their stores shortly. I, I think it was 2006, maybe I don't know, but they don't they no longer exist. So. Um, there was a promotion where if you bought Pokemon Fire Red or Pokemon Leaf Green, or both, um, at participating stores, that they would give you the Pocket Trainer's Guide. And I had already received, I had already bought Pokemon Fire Red, and like, at a different store, but they were not giving them out, unfortunately. Or, what I've heard from a few of my friends who got the game the same day as me, uh, when I went, was after they'd already ran out. Which wouldn't surprise me, because when I actually went and got this, was I was picking up Leaf Green from Circuit City, and um, <clears throat> they had the sign that said, Oh! If you buy the game, you get the Pocket Trainer's Guide. And they did not have any except for this one, which was standing on top, just like this, on top of a rack that had, that was where these were um, on the counter. And so when I bought my Leaf Green, I was like, Dad, Dad, I really want the Pocket Trainer's Guide, but, <clears throat> and the sign says that I can have it. And my dad, <laughs> essentially convinced the clerk because the clerk was saying oh we ran out there's no more you can't get it and I was like it's right there it's right there my dad ended up talking them into giving me the display copy and so I loved this to death um, I believe it was in this uh, where the fudge was it uh, it was like right in here. You can see there was something. There used to be like a poster. Uh, it was a map of Kanto. 
after it had been redesigned for Fire Red and Leaf Green, because before, you just had the basic 8-bit uh, map, 8-bit looking map, from the original Red and Blue. And so that was really, really cool, and I still have my map somewhere, but it's kind of torn up, because it's old, and I used to play with it. Um, but, uh, for a long time, uh, this was in my mom's SUV, and, uh, just, whenever we'd go, like, on a road trip or something, I'd pull it out and start reading it from, like, cover to cover, at least five times, <laughs> going one way, and then five times back, but one day we, uh, there was a spill of hot chocolate that literally got the entire back half of the SUV. I didn't even know that freaking Starbucks hot chocolates had that much hot chocolate in it, but it spilled all over this. Luckily, it was just like the corner, and it was only like in the back half of the uh, guide. It doesn't go that far. It's like just to there. It's like the the unimportant battle log that nobody ever used. It and it just stopped. It stops like the battle log, maybe a little bit farther, but it's not noticeable. And I don't know, but I love oh shit! I love these um little guide things that they used to make because yes, it's just the basics. Yes, it's essentially the instruction manual, but. It's really cool having, like, this, which has a poster and just the basic information and cool pictures because, like, I hadn't played the game. I hadn't played Fire Red or Leaf Green yet because I had just bought them. And there was already, like, screenshots. At the time, this right here got me so, so hyped. And this is not... There we go. There's the focus. But, like, these screenshots got me so hyped for the game. Now, I loved, like, seeing all the, whoa, all the art for the Pokemon. Like, my champ, my choke, and I cannot, whatever. Like, ugh, no, Lieutenant Surge, why? Like, the Eevee and the Eeveelutions. Like, that artwork for the Portal is just powerful. But I just loved seeing it, and it made me so hyped and want to play the game, even though the game ended up being kind of meh. But I wish they would, like, print more of these little guide things. So, if, like, oh, pre-order bonus, have a poster. Like, what they did with X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Because, <clears throat> like, the Rescuer's Guide apparently ha had a poster as well, which you can kind of see there, that if I can find it, I don't know where it was, but I saw that... It was like, oh, there's a poster in here. Well, my bad, guys. Uh, where was it, damn it? It was like, pretty early on. It was like, oh, there's this poster. But I can't find what the poster looked like. Right off the bat. But it was kind of cool. Hey, be it, albeit a pretty simple poster, but... <coughs> uh, excuse me. I don't know, I can't find it. It was essentially... Or maybe it's on the back. Yeah. Yay! Huzzah for back covers! Uh, please excuse the sticker. I haven't bothered taking it off yet. But, like, that was the map. And it was just, like, promotional artwork. And it was really cool. And I can't get this to focus. There we go. Like, it showed all of the different starter Pokemon... <clears throat> and then the Pelipper Delivery Guy and all of, I want to say Treasure Town? I can't remember. <clears throat> but it was just really cool. And, like, I, I wish I had gotten this back in the day, but I'm glad I actually managed to get one in nice condition. And I'm glad that I still have my Pocket Trainer's Guide, as well as the two Explorer's Guides. But I wish that... Um, Nintendo would publish more of these, especially more like the um, Explorer's Guides with the comic, because this com like, the comic was uh, 
written and drawn. Actually, was it written? I don't know. I know it was drawn by Ken Sugimori. So, it's, it's pretty cool. And then there's this slip, it's got a little slip cover. So it's a pretty high quality book, to be honest. But, I wish they'd publish more of them instead of posters. But, that's enough of my rant. Um, <clears throat> I know these might not be the most like interesting videos, but they're the best I can do right now. Um, I want to get <clears throat> excuse me, um, some gameplay of the Fire Emblem trading card game for you guys because it's really fun, but that's going to take some like manpower. I'll probably, hopefully, get it done while I'm at school this week. Get some games recorded, but I'll do my best. I don't guarantee anything. But yeah, the, uh, just hope that these informational and kind of ranty. I can't even words. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these <clears throat> videos, um, especially this one because. These really do mean a lot to my heart. Uh, I love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. And these Explorer's Guides in particular bring back a ton of memories. Um, because we got these guides before we got the games. And it made us hyped for it. Because back then we didn't know what the fuck like <clears throat> any of this was. At the Wiggly Tufts Guild, we didn't know that. We got to see all of the <clears throat> um, potential starter Pokemon. We got to see like the Vile Seed and the Foe Hold Orb and shit, which were exclusive to Explorers of Time. It was, it was just really cool. And then over here we have, if I can find it, the Violent Seed and Foe Seal Orb, which were, Explor which were Explorers of Darkness exclusives. And it just made us really hyped, like my friends and I, who really aren't really my friends anymore, but because they made some bad decisions. But yeah, these these were a great idea in my opinion. Like all of these, this one, meh. I kind of wish that they'd published this one sooner than when the game came out. But <clears throat> I wish that we were getting more of these little booklets because they're really fun to look at and read and everything and they are a big part of the pokemon history so like i said i hope you enjoyed these this video specifically um if there's any more sort of rant videos that i can come up with that might interest you guys i will try it but i need some feedback from you um, thank you all so much for watching. I am sorry I'm shaking the camera so much. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know. Should I keep <clears throat> doing informational rant videos? Should I show off other things that I have, that I've obtained? Um, let me know. Uh... I can't think of anything else to say right now, so instead of looking like a bigger idiot, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.